everybody. <laughs> this is another one of your bad ideas. This, this is a bad idea because I'm drinking what you paid for. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Hi, Rob. Can't see with the box there. I can move the box back. How are you? <laughs> are you good? I'm getting better now. Look at you with your little Glen Cairn glass <laughs> over there. I know, I'm trying to be tough like Bruner. I never thought you'd be so fancy Her when we did one of these. I know. Is that what's happening? You're, you're running with a See higher how fancy. I got right there. <laughs> you're running with a higher group of whiskey drinkers now, and so everything's out of a Glen Cairn instead of just a, a, a bourbon drinker's rocks glass like men do. I, I, I've got I, I've got a philosophy going in my head that's mm-hmm. probably wrong and is probably not going to last for very long if it is correct. I can't wait for this. Is that if I'm drinking it neat with small pours in a Glen Cairn glass? I'll go back to the bottle less, which means meaning I will drink it slower and appreciate it more rather than, you know, when you get a lot of water in it, like the one you just slammed. Sure. That I won't need as much to think, make myself think that I want another one. That's, that's my going, and it's working for the last hmm. couple of weeks. Interesting. I was just going to ask how. I haven't how been doing it for very long. It's a, it's a experiment. It's a theory I'm testing. <laughs> I'm Using the scientific you, method here. I'm glad you are testing this yep. out. It just, it just looks weird. Although I've already had one of these and it was because it was so good I had no You one. drinking bourbon out of a Glen Cairn glass. That's just, it's, it's off-putting to me, actually. It, I, it, it's a little so, to me, too. Mm-hmm, yeah. Because they're not as easy to clean as those. Right, I know. You, know, you, gotta, you gotta really get, get in short there. Short fingers. All right. Well... Are we done? Are we? You asked. Are we done I'm, with that? I know. I know. It was just maybe, weird to me. Maybe I just thrust my answer upon you. Uh, let's uh, let's talk about cautionary tales, Rob. <laughs> Shall we? <laughs> why, why not? You yeah. and I have had numerous conversations, and we've kind of made the point of this podcast to be: if you like whiskey, drink it. Drink it. It doesn't matter. The cost. It doesn't matter. The proof. It, it does, doesn't matter. The cost the, does matter a little. Well, that, especially that's, if you have a joint bank account. That's kind of where this has led me, I think. Uh, and and I going back to being kind of snobbish with your pinky out when you're drinking a Glen Cairn. Yeah. I've now kind of reached that point where am class. I a price snob when it comes to whiskey? I I, I honestly think that both of our tastes related to cost has changed in the last three years. Oh boy, has it changed in the past three years. Not not Gabe changed. No, but, but, changed. but changed quite a bit. And I don't know if I'm comfortable with this. Let me, let me explain the story here, okay? okay? So I go to the Twin Cities this past weekend. I go to a liquor store in the Twin Cities. I run into a guy there, pretty knowledgeable fella. Or or pretty good salesman. Very good salesman. (laughs) He says, there's a couple of these bourbons I like. Have you ever heard of these? Hands me one that's $35. Can I ask which one that was? I can't remember. It was Lake something. I can't remember what it was, what the name of it was. Nothing we had ever heard of before. Okay. And then he said, oh, and I also really like this one that we're drinking right now called Chestnut Farms from Clear Spring Distilling. We'll get to that in a minute. Um... He said, but it's $100 a bottle. It's bottled in bond, but it's $100 a bottle. Comes in a box, which you don't see a lot of bourbon uh, around that price it, it's, do. It's, it's, a, it's a beautiful it really is. display piece, I think. The box is nice. It's got great lettering. We're going to get we're gonna get to some spelling in a minute, though, too. Or we're all, I'm kind of spoiling yeah, everything, got, but we're going to get there. We got, we got a message for the... Uh, <laughs> right? The, 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 uh, the whoever prints these. The, which Chestnut is, Farms... Graphic design team, which is that's that's kind of in your wheelhouse. Yeah. So we'll get to that as well. It's I, I've mm-hmm. I've made that mistake <laughs> more than once. <laughs> so I buy this bottle because I'm thinking, all right, hundred bucks. I don't usually spend that kind of money on a bottle of bourbon. Okay, right? devil's advocate here. If this one was a hundo and you were going to buy this one anyway, mm-hmm. why wouldn't you buy the thirty-five dollar one too? I know, but I, I I go into those stores and I get what's a hundred and forty bucks. Such buyer's remorse as I'm standing there. I don't have it after I make the sale. 
It's it's before where I get I get you know jittery. You should have just bought them both and then. Oh, I know. Just I said, know. hey, Rob, you owe me forty bucks. Oh yeah, that's what I should have done. That would have, that would have, next time. Next time for sure, mm-hmm. that's how I'm doing this. So I bought the one hundred dollar bottle. I get it. I get it home. We got home yesterday. I bring the bottle into work today, and I'm like, well, I better do a little research on this and just see what the deal is. Type in the name Chestnut Farms. First thing that comes up is really nothing. No social media, no website for it. One guy has reviewed it and said, I'm pretty sure the distilling company that this comes from doesn't exist. (laughs) I'm thinking, what the hell did I just buy? I spent a hundred bucks on this. And this is, this is like a ghost. But, but there is good news at the end of this tunnel, right? I mean, maybe, sure. I'm still debating. I'm worried. <laughs> um, okay, so Sazerac, we're all well aware. Buffalo Trace, uh, Barton, 1792, A. Smith Bowman. One we and, just we just had the Bowman brothers right. one here a couple weeks ago. And it's a handful of others. They're they're sure. in Canada. Everybody's heard of Sazerac. Of I mean, course, it's one of the big ones. Diageo, Sazerac, Brown yeah. Foreman. It's huge. So this comes from that. It comes from the, the Barton 1792 distillery, we found out. But the Clear Spring distilling that it's labeled under, I don't know if it really exists. I don't, we don't know if it's a thing, which is weird, well, obviously right? obviously it does. It's on the label. <laughs> well, it must of exist. Course, if they print it on the label, it must, anyway, come to find out. Yeah, right there, distilled and aged. Clear Springs Distilling. Trader Joe's comes from Clear Spring Distilling. The Costco brand bourbon comes from Clear Spring Distilling. So I'm getting more stressed out as I'm reading this because <laughs> I paid $100 for this bottle you're, of you're bourbon. You're thinking if you could, you could have driven through Sioux Falls and stopped at Costco and got a bottle of this for... $30, $40, even bottled in bond. Do they exactly. have bottled in bond at Costco? Uh, I, I haven't been there, there. I haven't been there a long, long time. I have a scotch time. and an Irish. I should have brought the bourbon. From you have the the Kirkland, the mm-hmm. Costco one. You do, yeah. I well, I've had the Kirkland brands from Costco, and they are they're they're good. The, the mystery is always where do they come from? Sure. You know, like what Scottish distilleries, or if you buy the Scotch, come to find out, Sazerac plays a big part of Costco brand bourbon. Could be. All right. All so right. that's. They, I mean, they, that's good to know, though, right? They might be having. They might have the Scotch, the bourbon, and the Irish Sazerac. Oh, I'm I'm sure they would there at Costco. So. I'm having a crisis today as I'm, you know, as I'm getting ready to do this because I, I don't know how I feel about this. Menopause? No. I don't, I'm, I'm very cool. There's no hot flash <laughs> right now. But it well, goes, no, it goes back to... You kind of steamed up to me. <laughs> I am a little. It just goes back to the question of... I'd have more well, buyer's remorse about that hat. Oh, we're not going to talk. Well, these are winners. I could talk about winners, okay? But I'm not going to talk about that right now. <laughs> We'll do that. We'll do that. One out of four. Some bad. other time. Shut up. Um, okay. So I paid hundred dollars for a bottle of Chestnut Farms Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey, which I didn't know existed. Come to find out, it's 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 dubious background, and I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, I, I don't know. Then we drank it. It's it's delicious, and you really like it. I do. I do like it. So if, I'll give you eighty-seven dollars. For the rest of it? $85. <laughs> well, it depends on how much. Let me know. I'll, I'll shoot you an offer. Because <laughs> sure. right now, this is your dime. We can. Right. I, I get you that. You know, it'll be 70. If we get to the, if we get to the nose. And then we're going to see. Solid 70 bucks. Okay. So if, if, it's, if it's good and whatever the price point is, does it matter? Well, I think it does. Especially when you have cross brands like this where. You know, am I going to buy a, a Jack Daniels for a hundred dollars? No, because I know that I can get something that I like close to as much for. You know, I can go get an Evan Williams bottle for twenty. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, so there is that, but I mean, this is something that we don't have around here, or at least haven't seen around here. It's a beautiful bottle. It's packaged <laughs> mostly brilliantly. <laughs> and, we're gonna know, get to that and it's you know it's you don't often see unless you're into a, a some of these collectible things that, right you know the bourbon doesn't come in a in a box generally speaking i mean obviously e.h taylor and 
some of the Jack Daniels products, mm -hmm. and there's a, I'm sure there's a bunch of others, but generally, you don't have it. I mean, this is a beautiful, ninety nine and a half percent correct piece of art. <laughs> but why would Sazerac? Why would they? Why would they do something like this? Brand share. Maybe that's Market another. Share. Really? Yeah. You think that's just one more niche in their belt? I think. Okay. You know. Do you think this is better than Buffalo Trace? Yes. Really? Yeah. I, I mean, I wouldn't have said that probably two years ago. I was a big, big fan of Buffalo Trace, its own, mm -hmm. the, the original Buffalo Trace. To me, it's lost. A, it's either lost a step or, or I'm hoity-toity asshole enough to like something just a little bit better than right. that. To me, Buffalo Trace is a beginner bourbon. Mm -hmm. And it's one that I recommend to a lot of people that want to get into it. Right. I know that it's fairly highly sought after now because it's getting harder and harder to find. People get really excited when they find it. I'm not typically looking for it anymore. I'm looking for something different. Right. So, okay. Well, that's interesting. I like this a lot. Okay. So now that we've covered most of the ground with it, I think, we haven't really <laughs> solved any of the mystery. I, 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 really, I really don't think either. Um, at a hundred dollars a bottle, it is really good. It is bottled in bond. I think you can get a version of this. The non-bottled in bond is around $50, 50 to 55. You can find the I do wonder cards. what it would be like not at a hundred proof. Sure. I mean, I it's, suppose it's, you could water The thing it is, is it's, it's not, it's not complex by any sense. Oh, it's, I, it's pretty easy to drink. It, it at a, even at a hundred proof, this is, this is easy. Okay. Now let's. I think. Let's go to where this tears it all back down for me again. All right. Okay. First of all, I would love to give the designers of the bottle full credit mm -hmm. because this is beautiful. Yes, it really you is. Know, the, I'm not a horse guy I, I know. thing because that's that's what the, that's what's on the box and on the bottle. But, but it's, it's a nice piece of art. The labeling is pretty simple. Is that it, etched? Is the horse etched no, on there? No, it's or not is that etched. A, it's, okay. it's printed. Okay. It's like almost screen printed. Yep. It's raised. Yep. And they appear to have gotten everything right. On the bottle. Right? On the bottle. On the bottle. But on the box. <laughs> also bugs me. Also beautiful. Flat black on the on the box with a, a glossy printing on there so you can see it when the light shines on it. But while well, this was produced in Frankfurt, Kentucky. The bottle produced in the Frankfurt, bottle, Kentucky. The the box apparently was produced in Frankfurt, Kentucky, which I think maybe only the critical graphic designer Dick and me, who's made plenty of mistakes all on his own. I hope to Christ I'm the first person that recognized that. How do they not notice such a crucial yeah, mistake? I, I don't know. Frankfurt. On the bottle. Oh, this is even Bardstown. Franfurt. Franfurt, Kentucky. On the box. And it's, there's no oh. Franfurt, Kentucky. There's no Franfurt, Germany. No. I'm pretty sure there's not a single town called Franfurt. It's, it apparently is Frank's long, long lost wife, <laughs> twice removed. <laughs> Franfurt. And Franfurt. <laughs> All right. That's where, see, that's where yeah. I feel again like I got ripped off. That's 99.5%. Correct. That's where I feel like I'm. I'm. I'm not happy with spending a hundred dollars well, on this, just, even though it's good. You just put the box on the shelf like this, so, <laughs> so they can't nobody see this can part look at here. the back. All right, Chestnut Farms from Clear Spring Distillery, which it may be in Bardstown and it may be in Frankfurt or Frankfurt. Or <laughs> We don't know. Uh, comes from Sazerac. Clear, Clear Spring Distilling is in Bardstown. Right. It's down, but, the, but, it's, it's down the Barton 1792. But apparently right? it's distilled and I don't know. It's, it's, look it up on a map. I, I guess know. if you find a bottle and you got a hundred bucks and you want to try something, you're not going to be disappointed by how it tastes. You'll actually think it's pretty good, but you're just going to be mad if the bottle and the packaging mean something to you. <laughs> Okay. What you do now is you take this bottle, because I bet the labeling on Trader Joe's isn't near as pretty. So you go, you drink this one, and then you go to Trader Joe's and get the one for 20 bucks and fill this bitch back up. All right. 
Sad. Problem solver, Houston. Come you on. were. You were a problem. I appreciate that. You are pretty good at that. And drinking and most drink, of my... And, and drinking your whiskey. Most of my $100. It doesn't happen very often, so you're welcome. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for hanging out with us on Whiskey at Work. With any luck, we'll have a surprise next week.